when you're standing on the moon, the world doesn't look so big. Isn't it a beautiful planet? And full of different people and places. It's a pretty ball. Sort of a big blue marble. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I uh, just wanted to share something that uh, was passed along to me earlier this week by a fellow researcher and fellow graphic designer. <laughs> and he came across this kind of on accident. He was looking at some uh, photography that uh, was for sale by someone. And he started inquiring to the, the guy who made this image uh, because he recognized a familiar cloud formation you know, on the, the globe there. And he started looking into it, and the guy gave him a little bit more information and sent him to this NASA file, where I'll have the, all the links will be in the description below, of course. But what he noticed was this little cloud formation here that's in the Gulf of Mexico. It's these three dots, right? They're kind of in a, like a little flying V type of shape. And uh, he recognized it from the, the blue marble that was made in 2002 by Robert Simmons, who I'm sure most of you are familiar with. It's the iconic iPhone globe image. And indeed, when you look closely, it has this little three clouds formation, these little dots. And of course, most of you are familiar with uh, all the issues with the photoshopping and the clone tool uh, that's found on this and many other uh, globes. The interesting thing, though, is that on the original blue marble iPhone globe, uh, this, this three dot formation, these three clouds, only appears once. It's not one of the examples of clouds that have been cloned. So we don't necessarily pay a lot of attention to it versus all these other examples. But then what's weird is that on this file that NASA has, they have this one where it's all stretched out, you know, flattened out as a in rectangular form. And indeed when you zoom in, you see that the the, the three dot cloud formation is <laughs> is doubled. It's been cloned. And I sure can't explain as to why that would be <laughs> in this file and not in the the one that he eventually used or why the cloning is at all i mean the fact that there's such sloppy work cloning clouds anywhere especially to the degree that they've done it is is kind of baffling for anyone who's ever used photoshop and you know if you're really trying to fake a globe the last thing you're going to do is just clone and stamp uh just the same cloud formations over and over again. That's just like the dumbest thing you can do. But of course we know that they've also written words like sex in the clouds and things like that. But here's the interesting thing, okay, is that he started finding these this little triple cloud formation in lots of other images and even animations of the globe that are quite recent, uh, as much as like 2015 or even, I think, last year, some that were put up. It's hard to say exactly when they were made, but they were apparently, and you can see how there's the same formation, and in a lot of instances, it's uh, the double. It's cloned. So, the, and the one that was most interesting to me was this one where it's supposedly a picture of a, a solar eclipse uh, taken from a satellite or from space uh, over Mexico here. And sure enough, there's the, the twin cloud formations right there in the Gulf of Mexico. It's always in the same general area, and sometimes it's kind of tilted a little bit or moved around. And I remember seeing this picture months ago. And, uh, and so now, seeing it here, I actually started digging around trying to figure out what the source of this picture was. Because you can find it on like a couple different websites where, indeed, they're showing it as if it's a true... Uh, photograph from space or from orbit or whatever the source is, but they don't list the source. But the people who are sharing this photo genuinely believe that it's a picture of an eclipse. I mean, it always looked fake to me. It just looks like, you know, you just took a took an image and then spray painted some black onto a, an area. It's got to be like the easiest thing you could possibly do in Photoshop. And oh yeah, there's a eclipse from space. So it really makes you start to realize like how many photos 
that are supposedly of the globe that are floating around out there that are using these very old source images. And even when you go to this, like I found this article where it breaks down like why, you know, Simmons explains like how they supposedly he, he made this image and using all this Terra satellite data over four months. I mean, the whole story is just ridiculous because then they even show right here that yeah he basically had all these different layers. You have a cloud layer and the land and the shading. And it's just like clearly all you're doing is just creating this image from scratch it's just all pure animation I and mean, the idea that they try and argue that it's from satellite data light data i mean it, it's, it's preposterous but yeah so you have this cloud layer i mean that's the only way that you would get you know this ability to clone it and then not just clone it but to where sometimes it's over water and sometimes it's over land you know obviously it's a separate layer that's being moved around with like a transparent background so NASA has these files, like, free, uh, you know, and who knows how many people are using it. This one formation, because it's sort of so unique and stands out, you can actually just kind of scan for it you know, once you know what you're looking for. And so I actually went and did that myself and found a number of more, uh, you know, just Googling, like, Gulf of Mexico from space or things like that. And I found ones, like, here's one with a, a hurricane on there. And again, these are images that when you find them in news articles and things, they're presented as being authentic photos. You know, they're not saying it is, but they're also not saying it isn't. And you can see it from different angles and different depictions. And so some of these just don't even look like photos at all. It's like they just, it was like, this one looks like a, like a drawing or an illustration that they just sl slapped the cloud layer over. But in some of, some of the ones, the other clouds are different. So even when you have this, this V-shaped, three cloud formation the, the the clouds that are like further south and up north over north america don't, aren't always the same so it's it's very peculiar why this little formation keeps popping up if they're not just using the whole layer as you know just because they're lazy in, in, in every instance i don't really understand what to make of it but all the way up through the last couple of years these clouds are popping up in uh, globe animations and globe quote-unquote photography and artistic renditions I mean it's just if nothing else I think it just sort of serves as a crazy example of how <laughs> incestuous the whole source material catalog for the globe I mean, it shows you how easily it's faked and how people can just be looking at I mean how many times over the course of our lifetime now have we been looking at images of the globe or little sections of it that are just recycled <laughs> cloud formations and recycled land formations and uh, you just tweak it a little bit here and there and nobody ever notices because you know typically clouds are such amorphous you know sort of things that you don't really recognize patterns or shapes so you wouldn't necessarily know that you were looking at the same image just being recycled so pretty interesting to see, you know, we've seen clouds being cloned in a singular image, but to see the same cloud showing up in countless other images, and maybe you guys could probably find a lot more if you just keep looking, or just keep an eye out. Every time you look at a, at a globe or something, and you're looking at the Gulf of Mexico area, keep an eye out for this little this little formation, and I'm sure you're, we're going to see it just pop up. I'm sure it's just out there all over the place. So it's just kind of funny. Thanks for watching.